Hi, my name is Oleg and I'm a part of Exact Pro's Selfish development team. At Exact Pro, we build software to test software. Do check out our website, exactpro.com, if you want to learn more about us. If you are hearing about Selfish for the first time, then this video is what you need. Today, I'll tell you what Selfish is and what tasks it helps to solve. If you've already heard about Selfish, you may still learn something new. To check out the Selfish source code on GitHub, follow the link in the description below. Well, let's get started. Selfish is Exact Pro's original open source tool for automating the functional testing of trading systems. This means that it allows a software tester to make his routine work on functional testing less routine. In most cases, this type of testing involves first, connecting to the system via protocol or protocols that it supports, next, interacting with the system by sending messages via the previously established connection, and the last one is checking the correctness of the response from the system based on previously sent data. All these steps are repeated over and over again. On top of that, each protocol has its own specifics that should be taken into account when working with it. Otherwise, you might not even get to sending messages, because everything will stop working much earlier. And that's where Selfish comes in. It allows you to rise above the protocol and network communication specifics when writing test scripts. Instead, testers can fully focus on testing business logic of the system. All this is achieved by unifying the communication with the system, regardless of the protocol, and the format that describes this communication. Selfish supports many network protocols, including the most common ones, such as Fix, Each, and Native. In addition, if the protocol used to interact with your system is not on the list, you can implement its supports on your own. Selfish architecture has great extension capabilities. Our development team is also constantly working on increasing the number of supported protocols, following the new industry trends and the changing needs of the projects. Okay, we've successfully established the interaction with the system. Now, what about getting the reports? We would like to see the results of scripts execution for further analysis. And uh, that's where Selfish can help too. Right out of the box, it allows you to generate a report after running the script, which will lay out the entire interaction with the system step by step. In its turn, each step will have the information about the input and the output data that was used. Also, the report will contain all the messages received from the system or sent to it. All this allows us to simplify the analysis of test results. Another out-of-the-box selfish functionality allows you to automate regression testing and preparation for it. This can significantly reduce the time it takes QA teams to conduct testing. We call this functionality the big button, because all you have to do after some brief configuration is press one big button to get everything working. So what is it and what does it do? Imagine having a test library containing thousands of scenarios. Some of them are interconnected and some are not. You can run them all sequentially on one Selfish. It's the easiest option. All reports will be in one place, which is convenient for further analysis. The only downside is that it takes a lot of time. The second option is to divide the scripts into groups that can be executed in parallel and execute them on a number of Selfish instances. This option will save some time, but you'll have to do some manual work. You'll need to break down the scripts into groups, upload them to the right instances, and once done, collect the reports from all instances in one place for further analysis. And there is a third option, to use the big button. This approach combines the speed of script execution, because you can run the scripts in parallel, and the convenience of further analysis of the results, because all reports at the end of the work will be in one place. In a nutshell, here's how it works. The big button functionality is implemented with the help of several Selfish running simultaneously. These are master Selfish and Selfish executors. The role of the master Selfish is that it guides the execution of scripts on multiple Selfish executors. Master Selfish first configures them and then runs user declared script groups on the executors that have been configured specifically for these groups. At the end, Master Selfish takes the report from all Selfish executors. In addition, all the run data goes into a common database, which lets us analyze it on any other Selfish connected to it. 
Providing all this described functionality and more, Selfish allows us to considerably simplify functional testing as well as the process of script writing. So, today we've talked about Selfish, ExactPro's original tool for automating functional testing. Selfish simplifies functional testing and results analysis. Subscribe to the ExactPro vlog channel to be up to date on all new videos. If you are interested in working with Selfish, we have a playlist of short videos on various aspects of working with the tool, starting with system preparation and installing it on your machine. You will find the tutorials by looking among the links below the video. That's it for today. Have a nice day and see you soon.